So, thought I should do a little how to for a Diana trigger adjustment. This is out of a spare one from a Diana 52, I think. So, anyway, they're all the same. It's this plat, this out casing, and this that changes for the different rifle models. But anyway, T06 trigger, pretty much at stock factory settings. So you've got you got three things to adjust. I don't know if you can see this. You've got this screw, this screw, and this screw. This screw is the trigger weight. Make sure that's turned all the way out. You might want to shorten this spring, which you can pop that spring out by pressing down with a small screwdriver and popping it out. Only take one coil off, just one coil. Anyway, I leave that be. It's okay. So, these two are the screws that you're going to worry about. To set the first day's travel, this tab, this tab here, needs to be bent towards the trigger blade, and you do that right at the end. Anyway, this one's already been bent a little bit, so I'm not going to I'm not going to adjust it again. But all you do is you take the trigger blade out by removing this pin with a pair of pliers. You or a pair of grips, you gently just bend it back a little bit, just push it back a little bit, only about a millimetre, and that makes it so that the, the first day's travel is way less. But anyway, to start, the trigger comes um, with the brake quite close, so that the uh, the blade only moves a, a short bit and then, and then breaks. To cock the trigger, what you do is, you see this, this sear here, you just gently pull that back like that. That trigger is now cocked and ready, ready for firing. So that's the first stage, factory first stage. And then it breaks. So to cock, pull that forward. You can see the trigger blade move. There's the first stage. And then break. Right. Well, wait. What we're going to do is we're going to adjust the trigger so it breaks further back. So it, I mean in essence making a setback trigger blade. So what I do first, I undo this screw, this one, the second one, the one nearest the back of the blade. Undo that and get that out of the way. Just three screws. You don't need to change the screws by the way. You can do it with the screws that come in. These are nice hardened screws. Just leave these be. Don't use the grub screws. I'm going to change my blog so just use the screws that are in. Then what you do you screw the nearest what the one that's nearest the tab, screw that in all the way. It's normally in all the way, or it's about half a turn out, that's all. What you do then, with it just nipped all the way, count four half turns. So one, two, three, four. There's four half turns. What's that? What that's done now is that's moved the tip point on the on the on the on the trigger blade. It probably won't have a second stage either. So what we do now is we cock the trigger, and now we'll see where it actually breaks. So try and get it so you can see it. There was no second stage at all. So where it's cocked, I didn't feel a second stage. So now we're going to dial in the second stage. So we basically cock the trigger. Now we want to bring the second stage in now and we do that with that with that second screw, the one towards the back of the trigger, this one. I don't know if this camera is good enough. Screw it in half a turn. See if we can feel the second stage. Nope. Cock, cock the trigger again. Another half a turn in. Nope. Another half a turn in. No. Nope. So three half turns. Still no first stage. So I'm going to go the opposite way now. See if I was in. So I was one, two, three. That's where I was before. Now I'm going to go one half turn further out and see if that brings it in. Hmm. Could just about feel it. So we'll go another half turn. All right. Right, 
definitely something going on there now. I'll just try another half turn. Out this time, I remember. Right, definite now. You can see it. So I went about, I'd already backed it off, but I had to back it off even more. Now you see, we've got quite a long first stage. And there's a bit of creep on that trigger blade. Definitely some creep. So what we need to do now is dial a creep out. So we'll go another quarter turn on that second screw again. This second screw. Need to get more in focus for you. Oh, trigger's cocked. Do the screwdriver. Still creep. Another quarter turn. The reason why I'm going with that back screw is I don't want to dial the first stage back in with this first screw because it will bring the break point further this way again, which I don't want. I want it back, so I need to allow the, the, the trigger blade to tip right over. So now you see I've got quite a lot of movement. Still got a lot of creep though. So we'll go one more quarter turn. Cut the trigger. Right, now I'm going to dial in because I've got, got the break point pretty much far back. Now I'm going to just dial in now by going just about oh, 10 minutes on a clock. And see if that just gives me enough. Just a bit. I didn't know that's close on on breaking. Just sweet, very close. Now I'm just going to go a minute at a time now. Just a getting close. Very close. So you can see. There's the first stage. Oh, very close. Now we're practically there now. It only needs ever so slight push and it breaks. Yeah, that's very, very close. So now, now we've got a very long first stage, which I said I wasn't going to adjust it, but I will. So you can see first stage, oh, really long, really long. We don't want that. So we want to push the blade back. So what we do, <clears throat> what I do, cock the trigger. Now you see this, this pin, this one here, this one holds the trigger blade. Gently push the pin and you can waddle that out like that. There's the pin, keep that safe. Now the blade comes out, you can see the two screws, don't adjust them. <clears throat> and I happen to have no grips. Oh. Yeah, I haven't got my grips. So I'll try it with a little adjustable spanner. There's another way of doing it. All you do is you just gently grip that aluminium tab. And you literally need to do it so I can do it. You just bend it ever so slightly. That was about one millimeter, honestly. Hardly anything. Cock the trigger again. Now, when you slide the blade in, it's tight. You don't think it's going to fit, but it will. 
can get your pen. And then find the hole. There we go. So not as not as long, but it's still too long. So we'll just bend that back a little bit further. Just gently push that down so you can get the blade out. And we'll just gently ease that back just a little bit more. You don't, don't once you've done this, you can't bend it back the other way. It will fatigue the fatigue the aluminium as well. So you've got to be careful. Alright, there's the hole. Just gently push the blade down. There we go, it's not so bad now. Yeah, it's not so bad now. It's shorter. You can actually adjust it back. If you don't want it this far back, what you do is you you don't unscrew that first screw, the one nearest the tab. You only come say two half turns out and then set it from there. That will bring it further the blade the brake further towards this side so it's closer to here <clears throat> i like mine far back though because diana rifles are made for people with huge hands so anyway so that's not too bad it's like a sport to trigger now there's the brake so let's let's say you wanted a little bit shorter what you do the one near the back of the blade half a turn out the one near the tab half a turn in let's see that with that All right, that's brought us much shorter So we'll go half a turn out on that first one. Half a turn out. Oh, that's pretty about where we were before. Maybe I'm going the wrong way. Want it? Half a turn in, half a turn in. Right, okay. Now I'm on the second screw again. Two turns. Yeah, you can see it's very short now. Half a turn in. So if I can dial a second stage in. I need to come out with that one now. Because it's tipping too tipping too far. It's a juggle between the two screws. All right, I'm just beginning to feel that, sec that the second stage come in now. All right, second stage is there. I can push against it, and it's much shorter. Try and get that in focus. So. You can get it finer than that. Anyway, um, we'll go a quarter turn there. Just go another, just a little bit, just to get it much shorter. Okay, that's done the length pretty much to five millimeters. This is using the back screw to shorten it, and then let's go short. Now we have to go in with this one because it's not going to tip as far now. Right, bit of creep. So now we've got short 
about right pretty much where we were before but a little bit shorter so that pretty much shows you although it is a bit complicated you have to juggle between the front screw and the back screw. I haven't touched the weight because I'm now pushing the blade back anyway so you want that on the lightest setting anyway so there's the first stage now the trigger blade is way back it's almost ooh, 10 millimeters 8 to 10 millimeters further back like a setback blade so that's the first stage and then it just snaps away don't have it too fine without it being on the gun because the piston itself puts strain on the sear and that affects it so you want it so it feels close you can always use a screwdriver through the trigger guard to just just tiny fine adjustments only less than a minute on a clock adjustment on the screws so you can see that's pretty fine now doesn't take much and it just snaps away I see if I can just shorten that a little bit more and we're getting finer now there we go so I basically dialed out the second stage with the rear screw now we see how much creep it is. Now I've got a bit of creep, so now I need to. I'll, I'll have to back that one off just a bit, just to tad the back one, and now dial the front one in, just a tad, so it tips the sear more on the first stage. There we go. Very close now. Very close. Just added a bit more front screw so it tips the sear more for the stop I think that will do us for today so there you go I think you'll agree that's a pretty pretty well adjusted Diana trigger I would fine tune this trigger now on the gun by holding the under lever or actually firing a pellet. So, quick, quickly going over again. Unscrew this screw, say four full turns. Screw this one in all the way, the first one, the one near the tab, all the way and then back it out at least two half turns, two full, well, four half turns or two full turns. Then try the trigger by cocking it. Dial in the second stage with the back screw so that basically it tips over this screw, the sear tips over and then is stopped by that screw. You don't dial a second stage with that screw until you're very close with this screw. So you set where you want the brake with the front screw, which I push my, the brake on this back, this way, towards the back of the trigger. And then balance in between the two screws once I've got the brake point, which was only, on the initial setup, was only less than half a turn between the two screws, the brake point. Then I brought it forward because I pushed the trigger blade back anyway. I then brought it forward so that we only have a few millimeters of movement. That's about four millimeters now, something like that, for the brake. And remember, you cock the trigger by pulling this sear forward. So you grab that sear with a screwdriver and just pull it forward to cock it. So you should see now that it's not got a lot of movement. Not sure which is the best way to show. 
Oh, there we go. And then it breaks. Remember, take this pin, push that pin out. You might have to use a, a small screwdriver to push it all the way. And then you can remove the, the trigger blade. It gets a bit tight when you're getting close, so you might have to push it out with a, another pin or a very, very fine screwdriver. There's the pin. And there's the blade. Don't adjust the screws, remember. If you want, what you can do is you can clean the grease off. You can clean the, the grease off this sear, here, this sear face here. And then you can lube with a, a light oil. And clean, the, clean the grease clean the grease off this also and then you can just put a few drops of a light oil on there like that that was break free I sometimes use hot sauce and then put the pin back in and then that should make it a little bit lighter and less sticky so one last go Cocked. First stage, nice and short. Break. Thanks for watching.